All right, hi everybody. How's it going? I'm gonna do another video quick here. Probably be a little longer than the last one, but all right, we're gonna do the Joe Redmonds, the Matterhorn Game Foul, the Clarets, the Shamrocks, the Nickels, Blues, and the Copperheads. <clears throat> all right, let's start with the Joe Redmonds. This drain was originated by Colonel Grist about 1789. It is claimed by a man, by a man, that the Joe Redmonds were of the same family as his champions. Some showing gray in color, from using the great cock from C. F. Brown. This great cock was used in making his champions. So whether or not the grays were bred different from the champions, we cannot say. But are inclined to believe that they are the same family. A very beautiful fowl, and have made a great pit record. For bloodlines of the strain, see champion sketch. These sketches they give here, though, are you can't barely see them. These are old sketches, anyway. And it's you can't make them out really, so you can't tell the color. So, all right, the Matterhorn Fowl. All right, these were originated about 1912 by Murray R. Simons of. Whitfield, New Hampshire, by combining the bloods of the Tate Claiborne, Gray Speeder, Mountain Eagle, Everett Claiborne, and Belfast Red, and color about 90% are grays and 10% blue. Red and piles, a few show round heads and tassels. Cocks run in weight 4 to 6, they are low station, broad backs, good bone, mature, young, and are said to be good stag fighters. Okay. Yeah, I never heard of these. They died out. But, uh, all right, we're going to do the claret. And everybody that's in game foul knows the clarets. But here's the story according to Dictionary of Game Strains. So, here, let's get into it. The clarets were originated by Mr. John H. Maid Madigan. Well, I, Madigan, Madigan. Everybody says a difference. So that's the way I say it anyway. And had their beginning about 25 years ago. They were more the result of luck or good fortune than the intent to establish a drain of exceptional fighting fowl. Some 25 years ago, a friend presented Mr. Madigan a roundhead pullet and stag and one wheat and colored hen which was in blood a pure diarrhea white hackle. Mr. Madigan sent, sent this hen from Houston to Fort Erie, where she was placed on a yard at the racetrack with a cock with no intention of breeding. All right, you got to calm down. Uh, breeding from the pair. This cock was one of Dean's most desirable strains being from one of his choice gray cocks and a blue red hen. The Dean strain did not have a name, but were known to be strong in bloodlines of Mahoney, McCarthy's, and similar, breed, similar breeds of the Buffalo, New York district. This hen sat and raised nine stakes. These stakes were very beautiful, deep reds, resembling the color of claret wine. And this is why the fowl were called clarets. These stags proved exceptional pitcocks and the family was continued. This constitutes the breeding of the clarets up until about 1929, at which time it is said that Magnan used a cock of Phil Marsh's white leg family, which came to him through Hank Dean, over the clarets. In color, the clarets are about 90% deep reds and about 10% of the cocks come pure white. They are medium station and run in medium weights. The clarets have made a wonderful record and have been in more high class affairs than probably any other present day strain. All right, we're going to do the shamrocks next. I never heard of this. This will be the first time. Sorry if the camera's going over. I got this big dog here, this big uh, teddy bear, <laughs> big freaking woolly mammoth. Hitting against the table again. He don't listen very well. I told him to go lay down. All right. The Shamrocks were originated by Colonel George W. Julian of Martinsville, Indiana, more than 20 years ago. And with 
which he has had a very successful pit career. Colonel Julian fought these cocks as a private stain for a number of years, only recently offering them to the public. The Shamrocks are very aggressive and exceptional ring generals and terrible shufflers on any kind of billhold. They come mostly black reds with sometimes a few white feathers and wings and tail. They have dark or yellow legs, straight comb, medium station, large thighs, and short stout shanks. Cocks weigh 414 to 6'8". All right, the Nickel, Nichols Blues. This popular strain of blues was originated by R.M. Nichols of Columbus, Mississippi, and have been successfully fought by him over a long period of years. He haven't used them in two or three mains a year for more than 20 years without losing a main. The Nichols Blues are noted as long heel fall and are very extensively bred throughout the South. They come all shades of blue and run away five to shanks. All right, the Copperheads. This is a strain originally by W.L. Matlock of Tennessee. They contain the bloods of Arkansas Travelers, Bushwhacker, Phil Loving Blue, and imported Irish strain of blues. They come all shades of blues and some grays. Cox run away four to six. The Copperheads have never met with popular fancy, and their breeding has been confined to almost entirely to their home district, although they are said to have several exceptional pick qualities. All right, guys and girls, that's the end of uh, Dictionary of Game Strains. That's the book I got it out of, so. Pretty good book. I got this several years ago, probably close to 30 years ago now, but it's based on pretty much like 1850s to 1930s. 40s, any going past 40s is these are just a lot of the older strains and stuff so it's pretty interesting but I uh, should be getting into some uh, chicken care and stuff and what I do and it's pretty windy out today that's probably why you're hearing that in the background but uh, and the table's shaking but I can't do anything I got this big uh, woolly mammoth here wants attention so all right, guys, if you like, like and subscribe, I appreciate it, and uh, keep your eye on the sky. See you later, guys. Have a good one. Bye.